All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, this is the first semifinals match. As I said before the break, Zero versus South Park, two Polish Zergs here in the semifinals, one of whom will go on to the finals and qualify for the TLS proper. Yep, indeed they will. So, yeah, these guys are going to be facing off here. Got it all to play for. So, uh, what better way to decide it than a Zerg v Zerg, a straight up <laughs> battle of pure wits. Uh, fast and furious, no doubt, and both these guys are going to be showing us their true quality right here. It's going to be a, a high-level matchup, no doubt. Um, if I had to give the edge to anybody, I'd probably be giving it to South Park. Sal, so what do you reckon? I think so, I think so, but, you know, ZVZ is just such a crazy matchup that I think it can go either way here, and I don't know, like, I feel like South Park has posted more results than Zero, but... I'm not 100% sure, like, I don't have the numbers to back it up, it's just my gut feeling. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think it should be a very close, very high level ZVZ in either case. Uh, but before we go into the games, I would like to uh, give uh, another huge thanks to our sponsors Razer and Twitch. Without them, of course, the TLS wouldn't even exist, so many thanks to them. Uh, go, go buy Razer stuff, go turn off your ad block and watch streams on Twitch. And, and do other nice things for those companies. And of course, uh, Razer even gave me and Elegant our lovely headsets, as you can see. That's why my head is, in fact, nice and glowing. I've got this yes, aura indeed. of awesome blueness to me. It looks good. It looks great. It's, yeah. it's brilliant for you. No, I was actually blue, thinking, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like now I'm wearing the same headset as like a liquid player. Like Liquid <laughs> Red could be wearing this headset right now. You know, it's like it's like you know it's like you know in those romance movies where um, you know they're like oh you know they look up the starry night sky and you're like oh do you think do you think you know the other person is looking at the same sky? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. There's like three billion people looking at the same sky as you right now. So that that's not romantic at all. But a razor headset, a billion people don't own razor headsets. All right, there's maybe but, only like maybe like a million people. I, I don't know. Yeah. Some number of people own razor headsets. So mathematically speaking, having the same razor headset as red is a thousand times more romantic than looking at a starry night sky. So, so next time, like, you know, your significant other wants a present, you know, you could go the boring route. You could buy like necklaces, you know, or earrings, whatever. That, that's boring. Buy her a matching razor headset. Yeah. See, that, that shows that you care. Yeah, do earrings glow? Do earrings tell you what APM you have? I, I don't know that they do. Exactly. None that I've seen anyway. Exactly, they're useless, they're useless. These are useful. Yeah. Well, we, oh yeah, thanks to Razer. Razer are cool, Twitch are cool, everybody's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so... Okay. Oh yeah, StarCraft, that's that's what we were doing. That's what ah. we're doing. God, oh, I totally what... forgot, I was like, why, why am I even here? Alright, good. Game number one, Zero vs. South Park, TLS semifinals. Here we go. Alright, here we are in the game. At the top left is the Teal Zerg, we have SJ South Park. At the bottom right, as the Purple Zerg, we have Z -Z -Z Zero. We do indeed, and that's always a name which has confused me a little bit, and I've always just been tempted to call him Zero instead, because I'm not pronouncing those Zs. Oh. Well, so what a waste of time, you. going Z -Z -Z Zero or going Zero, I'm really not up for that. <laughs> Gotta be honest, call me lazy. Clearly whatever you, like. you don't have enough passion, see? You need true passion to pronounce the multiple Zs. Yeah, that is true. Although you never quite know what these crazy Polish guys are trying to throw at you. I mean, like, True Touch, for example. I mean, you try and pronounce his name as it's spelled, and you're going to end up looking like... Yes, dude, oh. dude. Actually, see, it's funny that you say that, because after I talked about it on last week's cast, like, a Polish guy actually PM'd me explaining how Polish pronunciation works. It was epic, man. Oh, great. Like, I'm, I'm basically fluent in Polish now. It's amazing. <laughs> Did he say anything about three Zs altogether in a row? I don't think so. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back and have a look. I'll ask him, I'll ask him. Maybe it's something crazy. Yeah, unlikely though. He's probably just, he probably just really loves Zerg and, you know, wants to show it. Maybe <laughs> right, it's wait, just really tough. We had a gastric here. 
from uh, from zero, and he's not. Wait, is he is he ten hatching? What what what? What? What is this build? <laughs> I have never in my life seen this. This is crazy stuff. And from the other side of things, we're gonna have a a, a twelve hatch. Okay. No. Yeah, we are. Okay. So so twelve hatch there. I can I can understand twelve hatch, but ten hatch. In base, followed up by a uh, pool on nine. <laughs> Ten hatch, nine pool. The That's what this is called. Uh, Bakryu, where's Bakryu? Bakryu, please <laughs> explain this build to me. Can somebody, Haram's messaging me. Haram can explain the build to me, maybe. I don't know. Somebody who is Zerg, explain to us poor little Protoss, confused Protoss players, yeah. what is going on here. This is absolutely yeah. non-standard. Twelve hatch is fine. Twelve hatch this, is standard. This must be like a big ling all in. Because why else would you need that super early second hatchery? Unless you're going to drone really hard. I think you're probably right. Um, but... Hmm. See, see, I, like, I, I've heard of 9 hatch, right? 9 hatchling all in, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Like, that, that's all Keontae does when he plays Zerg. But, uh... <laughs> oh, sorry, Keontae. Gave it away. <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, going for the, going for the gas trick for a 10 hatch is, is quite interesting. Anyway, let's let's see how it works out. Maybe it'll work wonderfully. Maybe just like, you know, it'll be an easy win for him. I don't know. I don't know. I think hey. it'll be difficult though, especially since they're cross map and they, you know, so they don't know where each other are now and the links will have slightly longer travel distance. That'll definitely help uh, South Park in defending his 12 hatch. Yeah, well, he's not going to get the drop on South Park that he would have wanted. I mean, South Park should be okay to defend. Although it is going to be a lot of blinks and they are going to be coming quite thick and fast. But he looks like he's... Okay, I thought he was saving up lava for some reason there. And I was like, why on earth would you possibly do that at this stage of the game? But he wasn't. He has now made links instead. So he's going to have a definite advantage um, in terms of aggression. But the cross map position is really yeah, not going to be too great for him. But let's see what... He's, he's still mining gas. Why is he still mining gas? He's mining with one on gas. He got link speed already. Oh, uh, so it's not, it's not a link all in. Because if it was a Ling all in, he'd just pull that guy from gas. So it's pretty Ling heavy, though, no doubt. Yeah. This is, so he's, but he's definitely planning for a, for a transition at some point. Unfortunately for him, he's just sent all his links to the bottom left, so that's not going to go well. Yep. Realizes his opponent's not there. Now he's going to send them all to the top left, but it's a bit too late for that now. Um, you know, well, I don't know. He's all these links. Yeah, his link count's going to be quite significantly ahead, though, because of course he's producing uh, links off that extra hatchery for just maybe a little bit longer. Although. Having said that, they're actually looking quite even in terms of link count and supply-wise, South Park is actually ahead at this stage. So, yeah, maybe Zero just kind of missed his opportunity a little bit. I think he's still going to try, and his link speed does kick in um, earlier than South Park. So let's see if he can get the positional advance right here. Losing out on position at the start, but he might actually be able to do quite well here. South Park's going to have to defend quite carefully. It looks like Zero might be able to get the upper hand with this. South Park is going to be forced into a bit more of a defensive position, but Zero uh, ultimately not able to continue pushing in. Uh, and he's going to be forced back. Yeah, that's... Uh... That's quite interesting. He just kind of charged three lings in in the beginning there, and just was like, "Oh, damn! I, I probably a move right now. That's that's probably yeah, yeah. a better idea." But uh, but yeah, he's he's gotten his lair anyway though. So uh, so tech wise, he's well, he's still slightly behind though because the spire for uh, for Southwark is going to be about halfway done by the time his lair is even finished. So he's not really in the best shape. And of course, Southwark's economy is much better as well, having offered the twelve patch. So um, zero really looking in a rough position right now. Uh, and, and still pouring out the Zorgans. The problem is though that the Overlord of South Park sees everything that's going on. So South Park knows exactly how many links he needs to make in order to stay alive right now. And you can see he is making more links. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know that uh, Zero will have a half a chance of actually winning this game if he doesn't pretty much win with the links now. But he's still rallying links and loses three right there completely for free uh, against South Park. Looks like he's going to try and do some trickery right here, which might just about work, but I don't think he has the numbers, and he might actually get caught on his way home by the Lings of South Park, once again losing another Zergling for free, and this is the kind of numbers that you just can't afford to be throwing away. He's taking so many free hits, and, and Zero is just, just losing out on quite a massive scale right here, but he does have the positional advantage against South Park, and South Park uh, undoes some of his own good work, but I'm not sure how much matters as soon as Mutus get into the uh, as soon as Mutus get into the equation, because now we have <laughs> the Spire happening from zero uh, when the spire is already uh, completely done from South Park and he's already got his first muses on the way. Indeed, but it looks like uh, he spent so many larvae making uh, zerglings that his muses were slightly delayed, although they are of course in production now about halfway done. Um, so yeah, that's going to be quite problematic. I think he'll probably just go and snipe these overlords first, get some free overlord kills. He doesn't want to move his uh, mutas too far out just in case there's a huge zergling attack into his own base. So he wants to have them near enough that he can bring them home to defend as well. And of course, since he has that natural base anyway, he can uh, at some point take that second gas and get way ahead 
in the uh, in the Muta production. Uh, I mean, he's already way ahead on drones. Look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drones in total. Looks like uh, Zerni's just pulling back now. So eight drones versus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If I counted correctly, hopefully I did. I think so. I think so. Although you know my counting isn't great, we've been. <laughs> we have indeed. I, I shouldn't trust you on that, but anyway. Um, so so Zero's just you know messing around in the middle of the map with these things. He's not really sure what to do with them. To be honest, I'm not sure what he should do with them anyway. I, I don't really see how he can come back in this game. Uh, uh, I mean, the South Park just has to be defensive with his own links. He doesn't have to do any kind of pushing or anything. And he can just be effective with his mutants, and his link can just be a defensive force. And as long as he never gets pulled out of position, there's no reason for him to be broken by the by the links of Zero. I mean, Zero is now hatching in some Scourge, but as long as South Park's uh, Scourge, the mutually Scourge, excuse me, uh, Micro is good, then honestly, there's no way back into this for Zero. South Park just has to um, be competent, and I'm sure that South Park can be competent. Wow, he's actually going pure Scourge. I think he's just going to go for one huge all-in attack with Scourge Ling, and hope that it yeah. works, and it's probably not going to work, because the Scourge are not in time, so he's going to lose the here, no. and then the Scourge is going to come in, and that's going to be lights out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a horrible engagement. Just going into a big con Z conga. Z. Okay. Maybe that's yeah. G in, in Polish. <laughs> Guys, is that G in Polish? I don't know. What, whatever it is, it resulted in him leaving the game. Uh, <laughs> and thus losing in game one. And uh, so, yeah, that looked really pretty easy for South Park, I have to say. Um, I'd, I'd rather Zero did a bit better than that. Yeah, it was a very interesting build in the beginning. I saw some people in the chat saying that uh, it was basically like the economic version of a nine hatch thing all in, which doesn't really make any sense to me. It's like economic all in. Hmm. <laughs> doesn't quite make sense. What, what, what have you already said about committing to your build rather than trying to exactly. sit on the fence and losing? I think, exactly. I think that's something we can take away from today's cast so far. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, let's go into game number two after uh, a quick ad.